able to disable them, silence them. So, you know, I mean, it's right there, but <laughs> Slardar is a good one for me. There are some things that make it harder to end the game, like going high ground, but I also think there are some things that make it harder to come back. Uh, like, split push isn't really a route to victory if you don't oh, have come back to panic at some point. And blood. damn, there's some heavy damage. Really damage. I will say, I I personally really hated playing this this Enchantress lane. I think it's, it's just annoying. We're going to see Insania get traded out again here. Two kills on this lane. For XG early, that is a great start for them. I, I think Ench Morph just has like no synergy. Like it's, you can obviously play the lane, you can do a lot. I think the later portions are nice where if Morph gets high level, you can leave him alone in Rome. Okay, Mickey's really You're going more, for it. Okay. He hits him. Damn. Okay, Shin Kyu steps a little bit too far forward. Okay. And Mickey sees the opportunity despite losing his support to spot on him. So he took away that watcher. We've got a nice, deep, aggressive ward. The Enchantress moving across yeah, here. It's, it's a coming. creep as well. It's going to be a double support dive onto the Viper at level four. And we'll see whether or not Extreme responds at all, or are they just going to give up on XM? They pretty much give up on him. I mean, Shin QTP's in, but it is far too late to even attempt to punish somebody. It's a blood grenade in boots. Yeah, maybe if he hits a fourth a poison fourth. stack here. Still he's got fairy, fairy fire. fire still on him. Oh, no, he doesn't land it. Now he steps forward a little bit too far where the Warpine Raider gets behind him, does some damage. Foxy comes in with a flame break, and they've got him dead as well. So now nobody's here to collect any of the experience from these creeps mid. I, I, you're not counterplaying this mid play. XM was winning the lane. Just missed counterplay from XG here, and Liquid get away with that. Get a treat on top. Flame break almost stops DY from being able to dive away. Yeah, D DY must have really screwed up if uh, if you're uh, if you're criticizing him, you know, or, or contesting with multiple heroes in your mid, uh, pulling to them stuff like this. He's gonna try and make the aggressive the move. Boxy, jungle, that's not gonna work. That TP yeah. does not work. He does not expect a viper in this part of the jungle, uh, no. which is <laughs> reasonable. But sure, was he gonna? Oh, he's going to suicide the Earth Panda? It's not going to die in time, I don't think. It, yeah, I don't think it's fast. It's not going to die in time. 33. <laughs> they don't know. Well, whatever. Mid lane, is a, there's a clash going on. <laughs> they TP away from Nisha. is not going to make it in time. He's going to take out the damage over time. And Insania is going to get run down as well. So whatever shenanigans were gone down at the bottom lane, Extreme Force that made the quick rotation to mid and punish Liquid. Right. Honestly, XXS. Applying pressure everywhere with this with us hero that is not necessarily known for it super early, and he's back in the river mid. XG playing incredibly fast around this mid lane now. Oh, hit him with the centaur stun that sets up the splitter, so Nisha might be able to go for the kill as the enchantress dies. They trade off one for one. Jin Q shows up with a purge, but then Boxy comes out of the jungle, slow him down with the flame break. They're still going for the viper though. Thirty three joins in on this attempt at a kill. Firefly centaur stun goes out. XM though, he's strong enough. He's able to stand his ground, kill Boxy, make it a run away from thirty three, who's still trying to wrap around here, but doesn't see an opening anymore. So. Boxy Dude. being super greedy and efficient. Again, lack of stuns, a big factor here. Batrider just cutting one way, double cutting to be able to get the full amount of farm. Ooh. Now, Mickey is going to die for this situation, though, as uh, he gets a full-on gank. They are going to run in crush on three. Creates a bit of space, but XXS is still going to get traded out. So, Liquid respond heavily with heroes. They get... I think so, the yeah. cleanse is solid here. It's I don't think I'm going it early, but it's definitely solid at a certain point. And here's that aggressive move with the blink on the bat. Set up the, the split, split earth. Hello, Misha. What was <laughs> that? Battle praised his slash rack so much, and he just completely biffed that one. I that was that was terrible. Didn't we? Get... <laughs> yeah, that was a couple times by Ori in that game, but there were a couple times he like he could have got out with the divine rapier. Or the orb just wasn't there in time. Go for him on the D ward, Boxy. He tries to make an escape up the cliff. Firefly's gonna burn him out, though. So does the poison. Yeah, that was just an awkward gank. The thing with Ray and awesome. those heroes were just so tanky. He had no good targets to jump with this bat. It's feeling similar here. They're gonna catch 33. 
They're going to kill him with this Orchid Reveal as the first damage is going to be enough. No problem. So that delays the Radiance that you were talking about. You said Liquid, you know, a lot of it, they need this uh, 33 Brewmaster to back up some of their initiation plays. And he needs his Radiance before he does that, as you do. That's maybe a bigger issue. Is how do you deal with this life stealer? Outside of, I guess, Mickey just manning up and killing him? They're continuing to hunt Boxy. I mean, this is just kind of like a fool's venture, though. I don't, I don't know if you're ever really catching him, or even if you do, is it worth it? Yeah, because he'll finally get him, but is it? yeah, it, they're taking they're a lot of effort and a lot of time is being put into hunting down Boxy. It's is so goddamn strong. It feels like you cannot fight into him ever. They're going to run into 33 again. 33 will not be able to get off his ultimate because, again, the Orchid is just too good. You're giving up a lot of a lot of time, a lot of space, though. And again, I go back to this type of game. Flesh, the ultimate beast in this game. Maybe there's some promise there. He's going to have a run into each other. Blink. Oh, he doesn't blink that far, but he does get off the Yules and he'll hit the splitter. As he starts backing away. Now, 33 is going to get in here looking for his first primal split in a team fight. Doesn't get it off, but they will get the pick off on XM. Trade out Boxy, though. He comes back on the high ground. He's stuck. There. Is Liquid still going to be able to fight this around it? It's kind of scary. <laughs> his Viper, he can hit you from very far away with this Dragon Lance. It's probably best not to uh, touch that turret any further. I mean, 33 is trying to kill something with this ult. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Can't even get in Q. Already has Shard on. He's, just he's dead. dead in an instant, man. The fucking the infest pop out does so much damage with this orchid. They had, their single target burst is insane. And you're right, not having any sort of save against that. Uh, but these supports are both really good on the side of extreme. If you get the farm on them, if you get the levels on them, and Jin Q is going to set up for a kill on uh, Nisha, the next success will follow through very gladly as the Orchid if it's needed, but it's obviously not. Just such nice map movement from Jin Q and XXS this game. Like really just put this game on a platter for XG. Uh, playing very fast all over the place. XXS was bottom, mid, and top before like the seven minute mark, and all mm -hmm. those plays were impactful. Jin Q with huge amounts of ancient stacking, early blink dagger, and shard just being unkillable in the fights. And now you're in a position as XG where you're finding pickoffs on the hardest hero to find on this map on the bat with two heroes. You know, this is the dream. You're killing the. So this, this lasso. It's really coming down a lot of this game though. If Boxy can find good initiations on solo targets and put them out of position. Mm. And who is he? Okay, well that's an easy grab right there. And catch that Shadow Demon anytime you can. Hard to kill because of the infest, but they'll get him eventually. Now, is anybody gonna die in return? Looks like Boxy was the target, but Ghost Scepter helps get him away. 33 is his panda's gonna live through this one. He is his Earth Panda is he's gonna have to come back into his form. Ooh. And they miss the crush out here. Split Earth lands onto Ame, but they gotta keep Nisha away from these He's heroes. Committing. Ame is taking a lot of damage in return. The waveform over the top. Can Mickey finish him off? A flame break, bounce back, a blood grenade, oh, even Boxy toggle. tries armlet toggle Ame. He's staying alive. He's gonna burn out Boxy while Mickey is still stuck in the muck and the mire of XM's Viper, who is slowing down everybody, oh ramping God. up the damage. Yeah, they got Nisha out, they got Mickey out, but they committed for the kill on Ame. No gameplay this entire fight because you can't go into this fight. It's not even close. Back to the game, Yule Scepter into the split earth on XM. Lasso, they're all committed for this Viper kill. Dude, he's and killing them all? He's gonna what? die eventually here, but they are going to be absolutely disabled by this. The damage is just too much. They have to retreat as, uh, Life Sealer oh comes in for whatever cleanup he can. <laughs> it's just the Brewmaster. Every get a good angle around a cliff, abuse the fact that back can take those angles. Because if XG just get the fight they want, which is this infested starter jumping you, I think they're screwed. And that is, yeah. <laughs> he has an amp damage room too. The thing is that base ward from XG saw this play. That Radiant Ob's in Dyer's base saw this happen, so they are completely ready for this. They're gonna bait out. They're gonna bait out Jin Q or something. They go see Boxy, immediately jump on him. Go Scepter, Nullifier from the Phoenix gives him the opportunity to finish off the Batrider without much fuss. XM 
They look at him and they're like, oh god, I, I don't want to go on that Viper, guys. Liquid start backing away where they can. 33 uses his void pull to get him a little bit farther away, but he'll be found eventually. <laughs> he turned off the radiance, hoping that no one would find him in the trees, but Extreme Gaming will brutally take out Liquid in this one. I mean, this game is looking pretty, pretty one-sided. XXS is even going to, they're gonna make a play for the other side of the map where they go for an Infest Bomb gank and they're gonna find it on Nisha. So Nisha got away from that fight dies 10 seconds later there look what are heading next and xxs has he's put on a clinic this game for sure this is one of the better games i've seen from him in a long time oh he got the disruption on him before the lasso an instant nullifier boxy once again finds his ghost scepter does nothing for him now mickey does get the support kill but he is losing hp fast underneath this assault of damage over time spells between the buildup of poison attack with the shard and then the uh, Sunray burning him down. There's, there are truly no easy targets for Liquid, who they have a butterfly for Mickey. That's going to have to do a lot. They find okay. a pretty decent lasso. XXS does have BKB, so he's totally fine. Mickey, got to get away from that infest. And disruption now on the Viper when he comes back in. Don't have the enchant. Nisha takes damage with the nullifier. Pop the supernova on him. They can't kill the egg fast enough. It's going to be Nisha dead. Now the egg dies. Mickey's got to get out of here as he turns into life stealer and rages on out of there. Nisha with a buyback. Hits the stun off of the Earth Panda into the Still split Earth. So they'll finish off XM's Aegis. But are they really going to be able to go for more off of this? 33. Now back into his regular panda form. Ame. Sees Nisha, looks for him, goes for the infest Mickey onto the warplane, he immediately disarms him and completely kills their damage while simultaneously killing their heroes. Mickey has one last wave for him to get back to the fountain, and that'll work for him, but Extreme own this base now. Just way too much economic advantage. Uh, they just don't have enough damage in the tank. Like Liquid's lineup, it was really reliant on those mid games succeeding, some early tempo being built, the Brewmaster joining these fights with successful ults. And XG just outmaneuvered them, shut everything down, built a better economy with Ancients, got a crap ton of farm on these supports, and I mean, XM Viper, it is his signature hero. Like, when they play around it, this team is perhaps scary. When they when they give him something like the Viper, like the Sniper, these, these two, he does fine against Lina. Um, I mean, in some of those games where they had Matumba, it was similar. So, I think it's one of the reasons Oracle works for is it's a it's a hero that can go in and just turn Nisha into the ultimate god. And they're gonna try and strike first here instead of being a on high the ground. Foot. Fortune's end, well placed by uh, Insania, and they'll make sure they get the last hit over to Nisha. So, a very fast bracer for him. Could be an interesting type of interaction, especially Oracle can just guarantee that the monkey lives. Yeah, his ults, yep, yep. and he can get a crap ton of healing off a, a boundless Ooh. with Jingu. Oh, 33 cool. kites it out. Early next success is still a bit low. Flame break bumps it back over the side. Insania does not have Fate's Edict to be able to protect against the magic damage. They throw out the last bit of nuke, might be able to get the turnaround kill on the centaur with the Shadow Realm. They'll do enough damage and they'll put that damage back on a Jin Q rather and get a second kill. So two for two so far. Boxy now getting chased down by Sticky Napalms. At least he'll get the, <laughs> the uh, multiple bounty runes hanging out there. And Shadow Realm's coming back up, so he... This is just a hard gank. Very tough gank. Too much vision around mid. Nisha with that ward. No D wards coming through yet for XG. They looked. They only found a sentry. So right now, Liquid sitting pretty in... Yeah, every time you make this mid-rotation to try and deal with the Dragonite pressure, you're going to give up something on these side lanes. And they are not fun side lanes for XG right now. Tosses Boxy back into the range of XM. So at least they get a kill out of it, even if it costs XXS his pre-7 minutes to uh, all the different lanes. And here, he's not even get, getting to play Dota, really. Power of the matchup. Monkey King can do this to these... Acceptable melee offlaners and another kill. This is so much experience going into Insania right now. Issue that XG are gonna have to address, which likely means you need to get XXS back in this game at some point so he can bring up another gap close option. Try he joins to try and help out with the power rune. 
And they get the haste rune for XM, but Nisha is too tanky for them to go on. And a hop right in the middle of all these heroes. Oh Mickey God. lands a level three tree dance on three heroes. That Derek Willow disgusting. does die, but they're going to probably pick Ooh. up. Oh, never mind. Shin Q with a quelling blade will knock Mickey out of a attempted fourth kill. Momentum. Is under attack. He's been put in use of the early levels of uh, purifying flames to get more and more kills. And now he's extremely high level support where dy is not going to be able to make his level six where he was hoping to just chill out in this lane make here comes that smoke blink dagger online for nisha Guaranteed see him blink initiate. stun it's a kill and a tower life stealer tries to come in for the infest it's not going to be there in time and he starts hitting the dragonite but dragonite <laughs> not liquid. quite liquid very happy about this early game 4k lead they even bring the life stealer into that fight. Ame gets nothing off of it. XSS continuing to get zoned out bottom while all this is happening. This map's this map's just collapsing incredibly fast. This is just Dragon Knight Dota. If you don't have heroes that can stand against him, he innately creates a pressure point that forces you to respond. And uh, extreme. <laughs> this could be two very one-sided games, uh, and a lot of it just off of like the first 15 minutes of the game. They do see Nisha see, here. DY has an opportunity. He has an opportunity to maybe be able to put somebody... Oh, no, the Bramble! It caught him. Now, the Lasso will save the Lina. Looks like he's not going to die into the damage over time. The Life Stealer comes in trying to slow down these heroes, but he immediately got doomed, so he's got to back out. Jin Q with the Stolen Scorcher trying to make it away, but no, they're going to collect both support kills off of that, even if they don't get the Lina, which they are originally shooting for, get everybody else. I and mean, like you said, when you snowball games... It, Level 8 Centaur with maxed out Hoof Stomp. So he has no levels of Double Edge. He has no levels of Retaliate. So he doesn't actually farm the neutrals that quickly. DY, he'll get picked off in the bottom lane trying to do some boxy shenanigans and farm the enemy side of the map. 33 uses Hurricane to push himself closer to XXS, who is so close to his Blink Dagger. Run, XXS, run. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. He does manage to make it, uh, but hasn't completed his Blink Dagger. He'll have to sell away the Life Stealer and start taking some damage on that Tier 2. And once again, they're going to try and stop DY's boxy impression. And that's all it takes. One Fortune Zend. Hold it for as long as possible. Let the carries clean up. Lead continues to grow here. And when you have a lead with Doombringer, you're usually pretty happy here. 33 is just getting to do what he likes to do, which is farm some neutrals, hunt some heroes. Not even going to do him? He is going to do him. Okay. Why not? I don't think you're too afraid of not having this doom up. And they'll find an illusion. Not good. So XX is going to die for this. He doesn't have Stampede. They just got to make sure they don't bleed any more heroes. But Nisha, five seconds, still another Blink Dagger. He might go for it. DY kind of tries to uh, slow them down, giving up his life in the process. Make sure others get out. And Ame will mentally damage them enough that they fed all their lanes. Yes, exactly. I see. Foresaw the future and it twisted their minds into nothingness. Lightnir. Comes out. LSA throwing all their da oh god <laughs> every bit of magic damage negated by the level four fates edict as you said the cast range increase allowed Insania to get that off he's too rich for his own good yeah Jinkyu managed to steal breathe fire again so he can negate their damage by 65 percent uh unfortunately doesn't stop the damage over time nor does it stop the kill threats when Lena pushes just a tad too far forward. They immediately pounce, get that kill, take the lane of barracks. Extreme aren't even trying to fight. Ame has made the call. He says, you guys suck. You fed them way too much. I'm, I'm going to farm the jungle. All right, the final smoke here. Double damage on XM. If you don't have the damage with this, you're never going to have it. If 
Found the Oracle. On the Oracle, just who they needed. Blow him up. No, he gets off the false promise. Well, and so does the Wukong's command, luck. which they committed <laughs> inside of that one heavily. So now they're stuck. A stolen false promise put onto yeah, XM. So nice. XM's able to just stand here, throw some damage back at Anisha. Anisha, can he do enough damage to finish off the Dragon Knight? Just the Aegis. That's all they want. They just want to take away your Aegis, Nisha. You can't even let them have that. Not even Mickey is going to die. Open wounds. Had him locked down for a bit, but uh, that's it. GG. Yeah. 28 minute game two. Yeah, that is, uh, that is a classic liquid game right there. You gave you wanted. You had no real answer or counterplay to this DK mid, and that's all she wrote. After that, you're just going to run out of damage. I feel like the pace and the speed they were going to go at, and they will go for the deuce. Right? That's okay. sick. Yeah. Bloodseek is great against Pango mid hits. I think it's more acceptable. If it's a carry clinks in the hand of a Chinese team, then okay, I'm fine. As long as a FY doesn't do another four position clinks, I'm okay with any clinks that I see. Let's put it that way. Bomb blast. I'm still, still DY out gets low and will be the first blood. 33, who got an urn of shadows already, turns that around and immediately puts damage onto Ame. And Boxy just accepts his fate. They don't want to be low HP. They don't both want to be low HP. Let's put it that way. So one of them's got to go back. On level six yet, they weren't willing to pull the trigger on it. Now they're just going to have to wait for the power rune spawn, which DY already going to be blasted. And Insania joins in the fight. And DY realizes, wait a minute, there's no longer a fight that I can take. They were going Frostbite, Blood Grenade him, chase him away from the power rune as well. And from the other side comes 33. They'll give the kill to Nisha. No way. Do not try and contest him, but Boxy, if he goes up there now, he'll see Jin Q and might be able to stop him with a blast off. But if Jin Q hides, pops out the last second. Yeah, he just doesn't know he's here. Yep. So he has a decent chance to outclick Boxy. Let's see if he gets it. Ooh. Ooh, Boxy does manage to nab it away from him. And now Jin Q's stuck here. Yeah, now Jin Q might be dead as uh, they do manage to run down XXS in the bob bottom lane. Uh, Jin Q is going to go for the TP away, but the blast off is going to land on him. He Pops Shadow Run, but now he's going to be caught by uh, 33. And uh, another kill that 33 is able to make. You know, small. Yeah, like you just have to go. You just have to use it on a dude, and he ends up dying. You're like, damn, I did not think it was going to do that much. But, I mean, that's the Brewmaster. Instead, he's going to TP mid, look for the fight here. Interesting maneuver. Blast off lands. 33 gets on top of him, pops a primal split, throws the boulder after him. Can they pull he him back? The XM is speed. fast enough. He's getting away, and now Nisha is stuck here. Pops his regen, hopes to get off the rolling thunder, and he does. So that is going to lead to the kill on the clockwork, it looks like. He's going to be run down by Brulings, pops it back into XXS. Meanwhile, Insania was trying to run the Bloodseeker down, and he won't be able to ensure that kill. So they give away two supports on the side of Liquid. I think on the Viper game one, XG have been ready for these mid moves. Even if not all of them work, and they're, they're willing to respond with everybody. Once more, just trying to hold this tower, hold the liquid aggression off, and the 33 go too far. He's trying to use the Drunken Brawler Storm Brawler to keep him ahead of the battery assault, and he's good enough. So fast. Even if he starts getting hit now, it's a bit too late. Uh, battery assault's going to run out at some point in time. Your damage is gone, and now it's DY gonna end up dying for this one perhaps as they get in front of him 33 just trying to body block him a little bit to get the frostbite now into ame ame who no longer tanky. has some death pack charges the thing is the brew is having a way better game this time around than we saw from the earlier brewmaster game on 33. Mm -hmm. that game his radiance was mega delayed his lane was sacked this year was a lot about the rate at which you get results and the, the rate at which you get his big ore items and this is gonna be a lot faster there I and XM gets off immediately. Nisha has to cancel. He is deep in enemy territory, and Ame is going to come over just to make sure that the fight is good for Extreme Boxy. Actually, he uh, maybe should have been a little bit more respectful of Extreme's chasing power. Fortunately, the hook shot is not quite far enough for Earth One, who pushes through with a stun. I mean, this is a solid trade for XG if they get out, because that's the radiance timing for 33 on this old. Yep, 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 yep. And just got nothing with it. So they baited out a decent amount. We almost got cliffed. Oh, he's, he's stuck. He is stuck. He doesn't what? have TP. And they know he's here because the ancients oh are hitting him and the God. rockets on him. He's dead. Unless Liquid can bail him out somehow. Cut a tree? Thunder or something. Cut the trees. Okay, there we go. Boxy will cut the trees for him. And it that actually somehow pulled XM into his death. 
Blades down on mine. DY rolling thunder through all of this one. They're trying to chase after a techies. They're not going to get him. They're trying to go for the swashbuckle. Nisha happened? got bumped by the cogs, but he still has another chance with a shield crash to land it. The hook shot doesn't land either to get him out and get three kills out of 33 stuck in the trees. Versus this dude in with the shell. Ooh. Find a good support or one of the big cores you can rupture. Yeah, they know they're smoked. They ran into a mine. They still are going to go for it. Try and burst down 33 with the burning barrage. They hit him with the terrorize. That's good enough to get the kill. Got the disable off just in time. Right as Mickey was coming in to scare back these heroes with the stone gaze and such. DY gets a big heal. You just don't have the damage for this hero. Finding the brew, perfect target. DY will find a support. This is also what you want to have happen if you're XG. The Liquid are here. Yeah, Liquid back up there, boy. This is twice now that Boxy has been gone on, and they immediately bring cores to the fight and turn the fight around. Boxy gets low, but he doesn't die. The, the five man from Liquid is the map right now. Content to scale yeah, into this mid lake. Ame is still playing under this ward century, and this time he will be caught for it. He got away last time, scot free off of some sort of dust situation that wasn't ready, but he finally pays the price. Nice ward placement from Liquid. Continuing to defend this tower that has plagued XG this game. Liquid refuse to give the space for the Clinks and the Darkseer to operate the lanes with. It's going to pay dividends here over the long run. You're looking at the 21 minute mark, zero tier ones down. Terrorize nice. only lands on two. Insania <laughs> tried to get in range with Frostbite. Doesn't matter. Nisha collects the kill after the Terrorize is down. And 650 GPM top. for this Dusa, by the way. Yeah, he's out of control. He's already level 18. So level three Stone Gaze online for this next fight. What's up? It's a big skill to have this early. Smoke breaks, blinks forward, right into the Bloodseeker. So Nisha is going to be in a bit of trouble here. He's but they need more damage to be able to burst him down. They finally get him. Okay, there you go. Vacuum moves him a little bit. The damage started ramping up, but they have to use the rest of this BKB to get oh, away what from a the terrorize. Dusa. Nice terrorize. That separates Mikke from Insania. The duo that's been together for so long. Mikke comes back for Insania, but his own illusion is killing the Crystal Maiden. And surely they, they're going to get her eventually, right? XM, he's pretty heated up from the thirst. But he doesn't want to go for it. The rocket claims him in the end. DY with his dying breath will get that kill as he's hunted down by 33, who almost has the damage to kill XXS as well. XXS had to get out of there. Yeah, by the way, if you're wondering where Ame was that whole fight, Solo killed by 33. They get a fight around the Dusa, around the level 3 Brew split right now. Oh, God. 33 is a monster if he gets this off, and he has 3,000 HP, so he should. And Extreme's Gaming's initiation goes bad. The stumbles just walks right into him. Breaks the smoke, so it gives free room for Liquid to pop the Primal Split. Now, it doesn't go that bad for Extreme as they're able to get themselves out of there. Maybe it spoke too soon, though. The Rolling Thunder, it lands, forces out the Rupture out of XM. He turns around, goes for the kill on Anisha. Will be able to get it. Can he get out, though? The Stone Gaze wasn't there in time to be able to bail out their mid laner. And now the hook shot. DY just trying to in. buy more time, keeping Mickey controlled up. They got the Deuce Deuce Illusion. Illusion goes to work. Mickey's losing a lot of mana. The blast off lands on a couple here. heroes, though. The Bloodseeker ends up going down. But man, this Deuce Illusion just went to work as XXS and the Dark Willow were able to come in and clean up a lot of heroes there. 33. He gets. Wait, oh, wait he self canceled. He self canceled. That oh wasn't a Cogs my. push. He mind gamed him. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> he mind gamed himself. They know that is what wrecked them last fight. I mean, the number one thing for me is Liquid cannot stretch out and try and chase after Extreme. It seems to go bad every single time no. they go for that. There's a decent amount of counter initiation between Clock, Willow, and, and Bloodseeker. And that's the type of fight XM wants is when you're going into him because he's Wait, pretty slow just running in into ground. you. A lot of brambles going on, though. Man. Yeah, a lot of them. They got the wall. wall. And the cogs push back, and He's they gone. have the burst damage easily. He could not get off the greater oh. healing lotus. The team just assumed that Mickey was going to be a bit tankier than he actually is, but an amp damage clinks makes all the difference in the world when it comes to that kind of burst. And this is going to be two team fights in a row. Actually, going through 
the Earth Panda makes it through, so 33 will survive, but obviously another great fight for Extreme. We get three and Roshan for themselves. These heroes down. What is what does that look like? It doesn't look that straightforward. They just have a bunch of random nuke damage and like some slow Medusa damage, but. 33. Nothing crazy. Lightmare burst, burst, burst from Ame with the Bramble landing as well. And another stun coming in. They don't commit. They don't want to overcommit here. Oh, the Hookshot gets blocked hit. out. Excel. That's unfortunate. And Mickey's in a good position blocking. now to what? use the stone gaze. <laughs> XM making a break for it. Ame oh, still here on the side. The and Zania came through and got bursted by him. Nobody's there to punish the clinks. God, are you nullifying here? Another defensive item that will do a lot for helping Liquid against the uh, single target catch, Manta. Oh, DY. Hook shot in really deep there. Oh, he trapped Nisha himself. Nisha trapped inside the cogs for now. They do manage to get the rupture off on him. Is he going for a TP? No, he got terrorized got and vacuumed back in as well. It's and what beautiful. a big vacuum it was from XXS on three heroes with the wall. They'll clean up the support. Mick am 33 oh, trying to get out of here. He got silence before the stone case could go off in 33. He knows his carry is already dead. No sense in popping the primal split now. What a nasty combination from XG. We, we didn't talk about it. The only thing going for Liquid on this high ground push is that XG don't know there's a DD rune in the river. The skeletons and the main skeleton himself get the primal split out of 33. Now Ame is pushed in pretty deep here by the oh void my What a God. vacuum terrorize though! Who gives a what damn hell? what Ame's doing if <laughs> XXS just hits the combo of the game. I Mickey mean, just, is still trying to struggle to get back and he over, just gets dude. punched back. No, that's over. You're not recovering from that one. That is that's what we call an old disbander right there. I mean, god <laughs> damn. That was just that was a terrorized back from hell and back. That, that is just a series of things. What a way to end. I don't even know where that came from. That was so casual. Like, hey guys, I'm gonna back him. All right, series over. Let's go top three. <laughs> the XG in the series for, for bouncing back after game two, showing some creativity, some flexibility, some some heroes that maybe Liquid weren't expecting to come out as early as they did, like this first big Bloodseeker going back to the clinks.